An Indiana law enforcement reform bill is receiving broad support from law enforcement groups and from the Black Legislative Caucus. But what does it mean for law enforcement right here in the tri-state? Eyewitness News' Ryan Witchery has a closer look. You really need a partnership. And we need to respect each other and serve one another. House Bill 1006, co-authored by Tri-State Representatives Wendy McNamara and Steve Bartels, is making waves in the State House after it passed unanimously in the House Committee on Courts and Criminal Code last week. Among other things, the bill requires de-escalation training for officers, provides a definition for chokeholds, and prohibits intentionally turning off body cameras to conceal crime. It does not change qualified immunity nor does it ban all chokeholds. The bill also does not address no-knock warrants. State Representative Wendy McNamara says the bill was drafted with bipartisanship in mind. It's a bill that is as comprehensive as it can be and definitely one that had a lot of uh, bipartisan conversation in it from beginning to end. Vanderburgh County Sheriff Dave Wedding was appointed by Governor Holcomb to the Indiana Law Enforcement Training Academy. He says the bill will help officers and deputies across the state. Probably the most important part of the bill is recognizing that police officers across the state and nation need to have adequate training brought to them each and every day, especially new police officers that are coming to the field. After passing in the House Committee on Courts and Criminal Code, the bill was then referred to the House Ways and Means Committee. Ryan Wittry, Eyewitness News.